guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, I'm Sharla, and you have entered the world of pink. <laughs> okay, guys, so if you're new here, this is a pink page. Obviously, you saw by the thumbnail. If you love pink, welcome. If you do not like pink, um, you might want to click out. I'm giving you a warning right now. Um, but hi guys, welcome back. I know it's been about two weeks since I filmed and I'm so happy to be back. So today we are going to be doing the most highly requested video like always. You guys wanted to see a what's in my Neverfull and this is my new Neverfull because my old Neverfull which is right over here is probably the most viewed video on my channel uh the what's in my bag if you guys haven't seen it i'll link it down below but um you guys wanted to see me do another what's in my never full with my new never full and that is the rainbow bag so this is the escal i don't know how to say it correctly um i'm sorry if i butchered it but i'm just gonna say this is the rainbow bag <laughs> because that's what it reminds me of so I think I'm going to turn down the brightness just a tad. Nope. There we go. There we go. So here is the Escal. Escal. I'm sorry if I don't say it right. But this is the beautiful rainbow bag that you guys are so excited to see. So so this is her. Um, I only own one Neverfull. This is my second Neverfull. So I'm super excited and I just think this bag is so beautiful and it is the perfect summer bag and I think this would even be really pretty for winter time because it's very pastel and I love to wear pastel colors during the winter time so I think this would still be such a cute bag. Um, so yeah, this is the MM if I'm not mistaken. It's not the largest size um, and it does hold a lot. Um, even though it is not the largest, it is, it does still hold a lot and it's very, very, um, sturdy. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. I stuffed this bag to the top. I mean, this isn't really what I would put in my bag every day realistically, but I just wanted to show you guys everything that can fit in this bag because a lot does fit so again I'm going to show you guys you guys see a sparkly lid I do have a custom Starbucks cup in here I will share who made it for me down below um, I will get to that but look at everything that that is in this bag so this bag is heavy it's hurting me right now to hold it so like I said realistically this is not everything that I would keep in this bag but I just wanted to show you guys what could fit in here in case you are somebody who likes to carry your whole life with you. Um, but I love how each side is very different. This side has the large monograms and then on the other side it has all of the small monograms so I really like that and then I do have a cute little proof keychain with it. and. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put it down because it is hurting my arm just to hold it. That's how heavy it is. So, if you guys want to see a what is in my new and never full, then just keep watching. Okay, you guys. So, <gasps> oh my goodness, there's just so much in here. I do not know where to start. And one more thing, I know this bag is very, very hard to find. Um, if you guys have any questions on where to get this bag, please DM me on Instagram. You know the drill. If you are new here, just go watch some of my old video, older, well not older, but recent videos. Um, you guys who have been here, you know the drill. Just message me on my Instagram so I can hook you up on where to get this bag. But yes, let's go ahead and get started. So, Okay, so the first thing I have in my bag is my phone, of course, that will always be in my bag. So if you guys want to know where I got this phone case, I did get it from a site called Kimmy Lux Dolls. Um, I will link her down below. I will try to remember to link everybody down below so you guys can grab everything that is in my bag. So I obviously do have my phone. This phone model is the 10X Max. Um, I don't know if I want to get the new one that's coming out in... I believe September but I am pretty happy with this phone and I have so many cases for it so I'd hate to get a new phone and then have to get new cases so let me go ahead and 
take everything out of here. So the next thing that I have in this bag is a, I'm just gonna like grab whatever I feel. So the next thing I have in here is two card holders. These are the card holders. Realistically, I would only have one wallet in here. I have like three wallets in this bag right now. But these are some cute card holders if you guys are looking for a new one. Um, this one is from Victoria's Secret and this one is kind of like a little accordion style card case. So this one can hold a lot of wallets. And then this one is a cute little Chanel wallet and this one can't really carry that many things. Well, it could carry like some cash here and then your cards at the top, but this is kind of just like a little quick, easy, take your card and ID. Um, so there's that one and this one is a really pretty pink nude. Um, so I have those two card holders in there. And then the next thing that I have are two compacts from Too Faced. Realistically, I would only have one in here, but why not throw in two? So the one that I really would honestly carry around is this Too Faced one. This is a powder foundation, and this is perfect to um, take with you for touch-ups. I live in Texas weather where it's 110 degrees. So this is definitely something that I would take with me to touch up if I feel like my makeup had melted off or came off because of how you have to wear a mask everywhere now. This is perfect to touch up and I am in the shade light beige. So that is mine. And then, so this is just a white and pink um, powder brush. This is from Selma's Glam. She carries the most beautiful princess-like brushes if you guys want some really pretty aesthetically pleasing brushes um i will link her shop down below but i would carry this brush in here to touch up and then the other powder is more for oiliness so this is the too faced um primed and poreless powder so this powder is pretty much translucent so like i said this is basically more of a powder to um touch up for oiliness so there is that one <clears throat> The next two items that I have in this bag is some scents from Bath & Body Works and this is me in a bottle literally if you smell this and you want and you wonder what I smell like. <laughs> this is me in a bottle so this is the strawberry pound cake from Bath & Body Works and these are the minis so this is the mini body spray and this is the hand lotion. So these are perfect to fit in any bags and they were $6.50 each. So I'm going to go ahead and spray myself now. Oh, strawberry pound cake is my jam. So this is literally me in a bottle. If I were a scent, this would be me. Okay, so next. Next thing I have in here is some hangover spray and this is the watermelon spray by Too Faced. And this was on sale whenever I got it and I think Too Faced is having a sale right now. So this is perfect for the Texas heat when you want to refresh your makeup so it doesn't get all dry and patchy. Um, this is prob something I probably would take with me if I was going to be out all day. So yeah, this is the hangover spray and the watermelon scent. So next thing I have in here is some lipstick. I'm just showing you guys all my makeup because that's what I see at the top. Um, if you're wondering what lipstick, <laughs> what lipstick I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bare. And this is how it looks. It's just like a really pretty pink. Don't mind my nails. I'm like surprisingly I haven't worn nails in a week just because I haven't had time so <laughs> don't mind my nails but I'm wearing the Kylie liquid lipstick and that's how it looks so that is in the shade bare again and next thing I have in here is a mirror of course to touch up so I can see my makeup. So this is from, I believe her website is called Bling Art For You. I will link her down below. But this was a custom um, mirror that she had made for me. I've had this for a very, very long time now. Um, but she does still make them. So when you open it, it does light up and it has double-sided mirrors. It's a little dirty as you can see. But I just love this mirror. It's just so, so, so pretty. 
Next thing I have in here is my um, ear AirPods. Well, they're not AirPods. They're like the dupe for AirPods. But I, uh, I'm just going to say they're AirPods. I have my AirPods case. And this is also from Kimmy Lick Stalls. It does not fit, sadly, but I still put it in there because it is just so cute. So this is what the case looks like, and you can even hang it on your keychain. But the the AirPods that I have are called, um, shoot, what's the name of it? So, so these wireless earbuds that I got, I got them from Amazon. I will link it down below, but this is a baby pink case, and I literally just got it because they're pink. Um, this is how it looks like on the inside, but you guys, this was very affordable compared to like actual AirPods. I think they cost like two to three hundred dollars, and these only cost me forty bucks, I believe. Um, this is the case that it came in, just to let y'all guys see the packaging. Um, but I'll link them down below. I think I even have these in my storefront, my Amazon storefront. I'll link that down below as well, so you guys can see what has been my favorite so far and what's on my list. Um, but yeah, these are very, very good quality. So if you don't have um, the funds to get some AirPods, I definitely recommend these. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull out this Starbucks cup because it is in the way. Um, but this uh, was made for me by my friend and she has her own little shop called Vanity Chic Boutique. So I will link her down below. I believe her shop is closed currently because she's been so busy but you guys should still go and give her a follow and keep an eye out for when she restocks because these cups are just to die for like look at all that detail and she even blings out the lid like how long would that take to bling out a lid like I wouldn't even have patience for that so um yeah go support a small business and go follow her and make sure you get yourself a cup this is how it is looking so far. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh. So that is how it's looking so far. It is now getting a little bit empty. So the next thing that I have in here is my Ariana perfume in the scent Cloud. So this is probably one of my most favorite perfumes that she's came out with. This is literally my third bottle that I've gotten from her. The first bottle was the medium size, the second bottle was the largest, and then the third bottle was this little one. So I love this perfume. This is one of my most used perfumes. I promise if you haven't tried it, you need to try it. You will get compliments everywhere you go. Um, she is coming out with her new one called Rim, and I want to get it so bad. I think it comes out in Ulta stores tomorrow, so I might go to Ulta just to pick up her newest perfume, but this is definitely one of my favorites, so if you don't already own this one, you should go get it. Okay, so next thing I have in here is my key holder. So I'm going to bring it back a little bit because I know some of you have said if when I bring bright colored things closer to the camera, it washes it, out, washes it out. So I'm just going to show it to you from here. You guys can zoom in on your phone, pause and zoom. Um, this is my key card case. And um, if you haven't seen my SLG collection video, you should go watch it. Um, and then if you want to DM me, you can get some information on where to find cute little key holders. But I actually only have like two keys in here because I carry my car keys separate because they're just so big and bulky. Um, but I just have two keys in here <laughs> right now. But I still think this is so cute to carry around and I love it so much. So that is my little key holder and let's see what else. So the next thing I have in here is my main wallet and this is a wallet that I have been using recently. So this wallet, I actually found it on DHgate. I never really buy things on DHgate because it's I'm very skeptical about the stuff they send but I went ahead and got this because I think it was only about $40. Okay, so this is how it looks. Looks much better, right? <laughs> okay, so this is how it looks, and then the inside is huge. I have all my cash in the middle, and I even have like space on this side. I don't have any cards there, and then I just have my ID and all my cards on this side. But I love this wallet, it's so huge, and it carries everything, and it pretty much matches with my key case, as you can see here. So it is just so cute. So I'm really happy with that wallet and it didn't take that long to get here it maybe took like 
three weeks so it wasn't too bad and I really liked it so I don't know if I'm gonna be purchasing from DHgate in the future if you guys want me to purchase something from DHgate let me know down in the comments I have in here is my matching notebook and I will link down below the shop on Instagram that I got this book from so this is from glamlifenotebooks.com. She even has her website on the first page, but like I said, I'll link her shop down below. So this is the matching notebook to the bag. So how cute is that? And I didn't expect it to be this big. Like this is literally a lot, it has a lot of pages and it's a really, really giant. So this is perfect to keep like as your grocery list, you're going out shopping, you need to write something down. Um, so I think this is so perfect for that and I love it. So look how perfect it matches with the bag. Like that is just so cute. Next thing I have in here is the matching pochette that it comes with. So this is what it looks like. It has the purple, the yellow, and the pink. It doesn't have, um, the, it has a little bit of the baby blue in here, but that is how the pochette looks and you open it up and this is how it looks on the inside. I don't know if I forgot to mention that the hardware is um, that gunmetal gray, which I'm not really a big fan of gray hardware, but I really, really didn't mind it considering how beautiful the canvas print was. So um, I did go ahead and get it for that reason, but the inside is purple and it looks so cute. And then there's another pocket right there. So you can pretty much use this as a clutch and take it on its own. On its own. If you're going on a date night and you don't want to carry a big bag, you have your own little clutch. So it's kind of like a two-in-one bag. That's why I really like the Neverfulls because it's like you're buying two bags for the price of one. So I really, really like that. But that is how it looks. And it also comes with a little wristlet chain as well. So I definitely like this to carry just as a clutch. But... Um, you can also use this to carry all your receipts, your cash, um, your girly products, some things you don't want people to see when your bag is open because this bag doesn't have a zipper at the top. So if you don't want somebody to see anything in your bag, you can always put it in here. Last thing in this bag is already very empty, you guys. Uh, if you have not seen my recent bag collection video, Oh my goodness, this is probably one of my most favorite purchases. So this is the mini pochette and this is also in the rainbow color. Um, so it matches perfectly and look how cute they look together. So this was actually the first one that I purchased before the Neverfull because I wasn't really like a big fan of this at first. I thought it was a little bit too juvenile. And then I started seeing more pictures and people posting it. And my friend um, got a never full on Instagram. And um, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try something small from that collection. And if I ended up liking it, then I'll get something. So this was actually the first thing that I got. And when I got it in the mail and I opened it, I was like, yes, I need the whole collection. This is just so cute. And so many people have commented on this and asked where it's from and everybody loves this so this is definitely one of my most favorite purchases and it is one of the reasons the main reason why I ended up getting the never full oh and I didn't even show you guys the bottom I'm so sorry this is probably my most favorite part about the bottom is that it's all pink I'm gonna go ahead and lower the darkness so you guys can see it's because it's like so pastel and bright that the camera like washes it out but if I have the camera any darker like for the whole video it will look too dark so I'm just gonna do it for this portion of the video but this is how it looks on the bottom I didn't show you guys but this is how the pochette looks up close look how gorgeous this is it is so cute so this is how the inside looks and I do have it stuffed and I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here so that is how she looks and then you can also carry this by itself as its own little bag and that is literally what I do when I go shopping and I don't want to carry anything heavy because I'm gonna be shopping a lot with a lot of bags so I will just take this and a lot of people always look at it and stare at it and they want it too, so if 
you guys want it make sure you message me but I love it so much it is so cute and it's definitely one of my favorite for my whole collection okay so let me zoom it in whoa okay so I went ahead and zoomed in so I can kind of show you guys up close what is in here so a lot can be put in here I could probably even put more things in here like do not be intimidated by this bag because like shockingly you can carry so much in this little bag so the first thing I have in here is just my car keys and this is my house key so I keep it in here because it's easy for me to find and I don't have to go digging through that whole bag for my keys the next thing that I have in here is some candy gloss from Victoria's Secret and this is my favorite because it's flavored so it tastes so good so when my lips are dry I'll just put this on and then I'll just lick my lips and I'm like oh my god it's so good so this is my favorite gloss from Victoria's Secret um, the next thing that I have in here is a lipstick and this is from Morphe in the shade Virgin this is another beautiful nude lipstick it's kind of similar to the one that I'm wearing right now it's just more cool toned but this is a good alternative um, affordable lipstick if you want a cute nude um, color it's in the shade Virgin so next I have is a hand cream and this is the strawberry pound cake hand cream and this is like more intense I feel like than the regular lotion because the cream I feel like it just has more infusion so it's like definitely definitely intense I put this on and I can just smell it on my hands and I just want to like eat my hands so if you want something that if you want your hands to smell like a cake girl you need this so this is a strawberry pound cake and I think this is the summer packaging because I've had this for a while now so it might be repackaged in something else but this is definitely something you need to carry and it's pretty big for it to fit in here so a lot can fit in this um, next thing I have is some lash glue uh, you always want to carry lash glue with you if you're wearing lashes because you never know when you're gonna need it um, but this is just the dual lash glue in the black color because I always wear eyeliner and it blends perfectly with my liner so I have that and then I have a dollar in here I don't know what I'm gonna buy with a dollar nowadays but I got a dollar in there and then I do have a fortune um, the little paper that comes in the fortune cookie so I did end up keeping this and I carry it with me because it has a really special saying in here and it says your respect for others will be your ticket to success. So I really really like what it said so and it has lucky numbers on it so I did go ahead and I'm keeping that so that will stay in there and then I have this cute new lip gloss that I just barely got on Amazon I'll link it below um, but I didn't know they sold these on Amazon so look how gorgeous this lipstick is so it's kind of like a clear lipstick and it pretty much just tints your lips but look at the flower that is on the inside that is just so pretty so I'll definitely link this below because I've always seen these on people's pages and I've always wanted to know where it's from and I could never find it so I'm so glad that I found these and I'm probably gonna pick up some more but how cute is this packaging but I think I'm gonna be doing an Amazon haul really really soon because I've definitely collected some things over time that I've ended up loving that I think you guys should get so I might do an updated Amazon favorites very very soon if you want to see that um, let me know down in the comments below so yeah that is pretty much everything that was in here like I said a lot will fit in here but I don't want to stuff it all the way so I just carry those things in there so that is how it looks with everything back in there and that is my cute little bag all right so let's get into the organizer that was in this bag so i think i purchased the organizer one size too big because um i believe it was an extra large that i ordered and i should have just stuck with the large um it does fit in here but you can tell it's kind of like i barely fit in here <laughs> so i think i am going to exchange it and grab the one that was um one size smaller but like i said it does still fit in here 
Um, this is how it looks. So if you do have a GM Neverfull, this one will fit like a glove. I will link it down below if you guys have the GM and you want this bad boy. Oh, I also have a pen in here. I didn't show you guys. I just have a pen that goes with my notebook. So I love how the organizer is perfect for keeping everything in place and you don't have to worry about your bag getting dirty. I made that mistake with my old never full i never had an organizer for it and it's dirty on the inside and there's no saving it i don't think so um yeah definitely a big regret on that so that is why now i have an organizer but that is how it looks on the inside it is just purple and this is the pocket right here so this is how the pocket looks on the inside and like I said, it does not have a zipper. It just has the clasp right here. That little clasp to hold to hold it together. And then you can also make it smaller by adjusting the straps on the sides. Um, but of course, I have it full, fully opened because of all the stuff I had in there. But that is how it looks. So, so yeah, that is pretty much everything that was in this bag. I could probably fit my head in here, but I don't want to get my makeup on it. So I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in without the organizer. So if you guys don't have an organizer, you can kind of get an idea of how everything looks in it. So really quick, I'm going to go ahead and put everything back in here without the organizer. So you guys can see how it looks. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and put everything in here without the organizer, and I'm probably going to show a little clip up here of how it looks because I feel like everything is going to fall out, but it's still heavy. This is how it looks. There it goes. Oh, I'm scared for it to fall out, but that is how it looks on the inside with everything. That is how it looks on the inside with everything in there. So you can still obviously fit so much more, but I think that's just too much at this point. This is already weighing like 10 pounds, so I don't think you should put anything more in here. So that is my new bag, you guys. Let me know if y'all like it. Let me know what bag you want me to review next. If you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, make sure you leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. And that is everything for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy your day and make sure to always stay positive. And yeah, I will talk to you guys later. I love you so much. Bye.